Okay folks, we have outbreaks of meningococcal meningitis pretty much nationwide in Vietnam. Lake Se Du in the Philippines is seeing dozens of tons of dead fish washing up on the shores there without an explanation. And we have an oil spill that's developing pretty rapidly from a uh, boat spill, uh, from a boat accident, excuse me, in the western Indonesia. The drought that has been going off and on all year in Mexico is back on full force. They really could use some rain. And last night an electrical issue caused a nuclear reactor to shut down uh, at a plant in Illinois. Really starting to get frustrated with the officials a day after they had seen logic and said we could get a glancing blow from the CME. For some reason, they seem to think it missed us entirely. And folks, they couldn't be more wrong. We're going to prove it to you right here. Look at 1600 UTC. It was just a glancing blow, like I said, but there is clearly a spike right there at 1600 on uh, the solar wind density, speed, and temperature, which is the orange, yellow, and green. You can also see one up there on the red, which is part of our magnetic field. It was just a minor impact, as you can see. The KP index did jump a little bit there, but it never even got to unsettled levels. Here in the ACE LE electrons, we can see a little spike there followed by a declination. Here's the Fluxgate magnetometer from HARP showing a horizontal disturbance in our magnetic field at the exact same time. Temporal variations at the exact same time on HARP's induction magnetometer. And we can see that the ionosphere uh, absorbed, that's the red right there, absorbed a little bit more than usual uh, right at that same time as well. So what do you want to bet that right around 1600, uh, pretty much through the rest of the day, we have some kind of impact? Now look down there and watch the one on the right. You're looking for red and white for an impact. Oh, there's it. There it is, right there, right on time. And as you can see, if you were watching the uh, solar wind density, it pretty much stayed high all day. And you can see we still have that increased pressure. So I don't know what they were looking at, but it clearly wasn't their own uh, data and the officials' data. Remember yesterday we showed you this solar active region coalescing up there underneath that big one in the northern hemisphere, but we do have another one coalescing in the southern hemisphere. Let's see what those look like magnetically. First the one up in the north. Um, it has been moving around a whole lot, really morphing, but it has not yet morphed into something complex enough to be called beta gamma. This is moving around pretty quickly and uh, it is pretty much uh, not too far away from being uh, labeled as such. Taking a look at the one in the southern hemisphere, it is much simpler, not very complex, and it would really need to morph a lot to become beta gamma and dangerous, and it doesn't have a whole lot of time as it is turning a limb. So folks, we do have this uh, coronal hole-like feature uh, that is going to be turning towards the center of the disk. It will put out a strong, uh, fast coronal hole stream. Other than that, uh, maybe just watch that solar active region coalescing up there in the north. Be safe, everyone.